Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mini Educators. I'm Mini Educator 1 and today I'm going to be going over with y'all some of the Algebra 1 slope reviews. Y'all can see I got um, six questions right here with me that were pulled from the star test right here. Ooh, the paper's spinning. But yeah, I got six questions here with me that come from the star test. Um, but yeah, let's just begin. And the tripod that I'm holding right now pushes the camera very close to the screen, so I'm sorry if the quality is not that good. But yeah, let's start with question one. The graph of a linear function is shown on the grid. So this is this is the graph. Which function is best represented by this graph? And then you have your answer choices right here. So first things first, they put them in the y equals mx plus b form, the slope-intercept form. We know that m is the slope, b is the y-intercept. So right here we can see if we look at the um, if we look at it the y-intercept is four right there it's four so then we know that b is gonna equal four so then let's see here b is the y-intercept so we can cross out g and h because they're saying that our y-intercepts are negative two-thirds, and they're saying, and then uh, h is saying that our y-intercept is six, which does not work. But then these are saying that it's four and four, so that's correct. Now we have to find our slope. So we can use the equation y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So then we're going to get two coordinates from this. We can use 0, 4, the coordinate for the y-intercept. And we can use this coordinate, the coordinate for the x-intercept, 6, 0. So we can do x1, y1, x2, y2. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, negative 4 over 6. And then there we will get um, negative 2 over 3. So then it's going to be j. Yeah. Um, also, because here, uh, we have, um, okay, because here, it's telling us we were between F or J, but, um, F is telling us that our slope is 6, so that wouldn't work. Also, because this is telling us that our slope is negative, so it's gonna be J. Okay, everybody, now continuing on to the second question, just a little summary from this one. So, um, B was our y-intercept. The y-intercept is 4, so we crossed out G and H. And then we found out our slope, it's negative 2 over 3, so then we picked this one since M is the slope. Uh, but again, um, we were between F or J. We could have crossed out F from the beginning because this is a negative slope, and 6X is a positive slope. Uh, negative 2 thirds is a negative slope. Now let's move on to the next question. The, the values in the table represent a linear relationship between x and y. Uh, what is the rate of change with y respect to x? So when they say rate of change, they basically just mean slope. Because rate of change is basically just slope. So we just uh, choose two coordinates from here. Uh, we'll choose these two. So we have um, negative 1, negative 17, and... Um, negative 2.5, negative 32. So you might need your calculator for this. Um, but what you're going to do is you're just going to use the y2 minus y1 equation. So x1, y1, x2, y2. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So then we do, on our calculator, we'll do negative 32 minus negative 17. And for the top part, we will get negative 15 over. And then to find this part, we're going to do negative 2.5 minus negative 1. And we will get negative 1.5 which is, then we do uh, this, negative 15 divided by negative 1.5, and we will get 10. So our answer is 
10. Um, uh, but yeah, so now, uh, let's continue on with the video and go to the next question. What is the equation in slope-intercept form of the line that passes through the point, these points? So again, y equals mx plus b, this is the y-intercept, b is the y-intercept, m is the slope. So we're going to do these, and we're just going to do uh, the equation uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 minus y1, that basically just turns into a plus over x2 minus uh, x1. So 39 minus negative 26, which just turns to a positive. So then, uh, if you need your calculator for this, you'll do 34 plus 11, and you will get 45 over 39 plus 26, you'll get 65, and then you will divide 45 divided by 65, um, and you will get 9 over 13, so then you can cross out F and g because these are negative so then we're left with these now we have to find if the y-intercept is seven or negative seven we'll just use um we will just build an equation like this so we're gonna do y equal no okay choose one of these coordinates right here so this is gonna be x this is y y equals we found our slope nine over 13 x plus b, because that's what we're trying to find. So then if we multiply 9 over 3 by 39, we will get 27 plus b equals 34. And then we just subtract, and we get 34 minus 27, and we get b equals 7, so our answer is h. If y'all need any help with any of these questions, make sure to comment down below. But yeah, all I did, I found the slope of these two coordinates, found it, and then I just plugged in everything to this equation and just left B blank so we can find it. So 34, which is the Y of this, equals the slope times the X, which is this, plus B. We're trying to find the Y-intercept, and we got 7. Okay, so now... Let's move on to, oh, sorry, I'm just changing my tripod. Right? Now let's move on to this question. The graph of function, of linear function g passes through these points. Uh, what is, what are the slope and the y-intercept? Okay, so right away we can cross out two answer choices. Because here, if you zoom in, if you zoom in to this, you can see that the y-intercept is 1. So... We can cross out A and C, because A and C tell us that it's negative 1, but it's 1. Okay, and then to find the slopes, we just use these equations up here, the y2 minus y1. y2 minus y1, so that just turns into a plus, because a minus and a minus, um, over x, uh, y2 minus y1 um, over x2 minus x1, so that just turns to a plus, 10 over 14, and then uh, we find out that 10 over 14 is 5 over 7, so our answer is B, there, 5 over 7, so our answer is B. Okay guys, now we'll be moving on to the next question. So on this question, we do not need to look at this story, the story just wastes our time, all they're asking for is rate of change. So we just choose two of the coordinates. We can do 0, oh, sorry, 0, 20, and 563.75. We just do y2 minus y1, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So then when we do 63.75 minus 20, we get 43.75 divided by 5. And then when we divide 43.75 uh, divided by 5, we're going to get m equals 
So this is our answer right here. F, right there. If y'all need any help with any of this, make sure to comment down below. Uh, but yeah, these all questions, all of these questions are just the same concept, basically. Okay, now let's move on to this question. What is the rate of change of y respect with x? So right here, um, right here they give us two dots right here. So if we trace them down, we see, oh gosh, my. If we trace them down, we see that one of the coordinates is negative four, seven. And then another coordinate is four, one. So then we just do y2 minus y1. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That just turns into a plus. So then uh, we're going to do 1 minus 7, which is negative 6. And then 4 minus negative 4, which is just 8. So then negative 6 divided. Um, so then you do negative 6 divided by 8, and you get... Um, negative 3 over 4. So then, it's D. And yeah, that is it. Okay, thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification button right next to the subscribe button. And if y'all need me to go and uh, if y'all need me to go over any of these questions, please just comment down below and I will. But again, all these, same concept. This one, we just found the equations and then all these, you just use the same concept, but remember, the equation that y'all need to remember is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. First slopes, coordinate slopes. Slopes with coordinates. Okay, everybody, um, please like, subscribe to the notification button right next to the subscribe button. And if y'all have any questions, make sure to comment them down below. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.